This beautiful lettuce that you see behind me is an experiment where I grew two different types of lettuce. Uh, two of one variety and two of a different variety, which I'm going to start telling you about right now because I always like to up my grow by picking out the best selections and this is what I have found out so far. So let's start at the beginning. These seeds were germinated on March the 27th and I did start out with six seeds and I took uh, one of each out because the types of lettuce that I'm growing right now are a little bit large to grow all six. These are two of the faster growing romaine lettuce varieties. The one that was on the left is called Vivian Romaine and the one on the right is called Jericho Romaine. On day three after germination, the seedling leaves were starting to uh, form. The, on day 10, multiple true leaves were forming. And on day 17, it was already a case where the plants were at what was considered to be a grow out size or a transplant size. That would be on day 17 where if you were moving these to a large rail system or NFT system that you would pull them out and put them into that. However, the Bounty 40 watt garden that I'm using is sufficient to grow out these four plants, so I just left them in this garden. On day 21, I started to see the veg stage was getting some rapid growth on the plants. At the three week mark, that's exactly what you'd like to see because typically with lettuce, you want the lettuce to be up and pickable by the four week mark. On day 23, it was ready to start picking outer leaves in a limited amount. The Jericho seemed to have a larger leaf, whereas the Vivian had a little bit smaller leaf at that time and it was more upright. On day 28, which is the current stage, it's uh, more of what I would consider to be a maturity size. And for the type of lettuce that I've got growing here, this is where I'm starting to look more and more at the features of the lettuce. And from this diagram, I've labeled the plants one through four. The ones on the left hand side, the Vivian, I noticed continue to have more of an upright structure. Uh, the stems are thicker, a little bit crunchier. If you were to uh, slice that up for a salad, it would give you more of a crunch in your salad. The flavor typical to a romaine. Uh, the leaves are a little bit coarser and f have a little bit more fiber than the uh, Jericho. Now the Jericho is a beautiful lettuce and it does have softer edges. The veining, the stems uh, still provide some crunch, but they're not as coarse as what the Vivian uh, romaine lettuce has. In terms of flavor, both of these are just wonderfully uh, flavored, very typical of a romaine. Some people prefer a butterhead, but uh, the romaine is one of my personal favorites because of the uh, slight sweetness uh, to the leaves. The one thing that I did notice was on the Jericho variety, it's more prone to leaf tip burn. The uh, leaf tips are even burning under a 10 watt light in a different garden that I put one of these plants into. So it's a little bit more finicky. It takes a little bit more finesse. I am thinking that a small fan to help blow the leaves around and a higher light setting may be beneficial. Uh, plant number three going across is one of the Jerichos and it does not exhibit any of the leaf burn, but the number four plant has leaf burn on about uh, three to four different uh, areas. I hope I could uh, get around because if I had to choose between the two, I would lean more towards the Jericho for its flavor or a mixture of the two with the Vivian providing a little bit more texture and uh, crunch, a little bit of a crisp to go with that salad mix. Here is a close up of the Jericho and the leaf tip burn that I was talking about. 
Notice how smooth and soft looking the leaves look. On the Vivian leaf, you could tell from the margin of the leaf edge, it has a little bit more jaggedness and sharpness. Because of the size of the leaves and the extra long length of the leaves, it makes it very easy to come in and select the outermost leaves to pick off for salads and allow the smaller innermost leaves to continue to grow out from the center and replace the ones that have been picked. By doing this, from the time of four weeks moving out, you can easily have this lettuce mix serve your needs for about two to three months of picking. After a somewhat uh, heavy picking, expect about 14 days for regrowth. Also notice that the outer plants, this number one plant, the Vivian, is spread out quite a bit and has been able to enjoy most of the light over most of its leaves compared to plant number two, which is also a Vivian plant. Plant number two and plant number three, the one on the left, Vivian, the one on the right, Jericho, are squeezed in a little bit more from the plants on the outside. And that gives you an indication of whether you would like to grow the plants spread out more for a full rosette of leaves or closer together for more total plant mass.